Hi guys and thank you for joining me for another video. I promised you an art supplies sort of haul type video. Sorry, I'm just sort of getting the camera situated there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I bought some uh, materials that I could only really find in Europe. Um, and so I just thought I'd go through them with you today. I will have some footage of my trip to show you later on. I went to the UK, um, France and Italy. Uh, I've been to the UK and Italy before. Um, I've also been to France, but I don't remember that trip. Um, so yeah, it was, it was brilliant. I got to absolutely saturate myself with art and galleries and, and art stores and all things amazing and creative. Uh, so just with regards to the art supplies, I only really wanted to focus on items that I couldn't get here in Australia. Now Australia does get a pretty large variety, a decent variety of art supplies, but they're pretty incredibly priced. They're really, really expensive. Um, and so, so that I don't open myself up to basically buying everything under the sun, I focus just on items that are specifically not available here or pretty difficult to find here. So I start in the UK where I would walk randomly into whatever art store I could see. I was actually trying to get some sketching done early on and I realized that I only had um, my pencil, my lead pencil. And so um, I bought this little set but I didn't end up using it on the trip which was a bit of a shame. Uh, so I'll have to break that open at some point and, and see what it's like. Um, for the same reason I have bought this art graph. Um, it's a water soluble graphite stick. This was actually quite useful. Uh, it's just it's nice to block in large areas and, and get some water washes on top of them. The main purchases that are made in London included a few tubes of oil paint now I can find Marco Harding in Sydney, but it's quite expensive. Um, C. Robinson Co. I, I'm not too sure. I may be able to find it in Sydney, but again, I think it would be really expensive. So I made use of the fact that I was already there to buy these three tubes. We'll see when I'll get to play around with them. Um, other than that. What else are you? Here we go. This is the art store I visited. It was a tiny little sketchbook that I've been wanting to try. And these were inspired by a William Blake exhibition, uh, his little mini etchings, his illuminated books. Uh, so I bought myself these tiny little copper plates for etchings, which I will hopefully get to at some point. I've got five here, so it's going to be five designs I'll have to come up with do the etchings and then hopefully don't mess them up. Other than that, uh, one second, let's see, where did I leave that sketchbook? Well, here we go. It's a sketchbook. How pretty is this? My friend actually has one. Um, it got sent to her by a mutual friend of ours and I sort of randomly walked into this art store and spotted it. So it wasn't intentional. I will give it a go and see what it's like. I think it's just Mm, drawing I think perhaps I don't think it's mixed media but maybe maybe it might work for gouache so pretty excited about trying all these out um, following the UK I was in France and I had two stores uh, in mind the first one was the Sennelier store that's not surprising now to be honest, I can get most Sennelia materials, but I can't get gouache here. I haven't seen them before. So I got me the little mixing set, um, but I I think I got a couple of extra colors here. The raw sienna ultramarine blue, just because I prefer these for mixing. So this is my set of gouache that I will have a go with and uh, see how they all hold up compared to the Windsor and Newtons which are the ones I usually purchase and then next practically next door is the Chauvin store I think I'm saying it right um, for oils 
And the great thing about that store is they have these tiny little sets of 20, uh, 20 milliliter tubes and you can get uh, sets of green or sets of red, sets of yellow, so there's focus sets. But because this is the first time I'll be using them, I wanted a mixing set just to see how they handle. Uh, so opted for this, which is really cute. I think if I do like them, I may end up putting them aside for uh, like plein air painting because they're so tiny. They'll fit really well in the um, sort of on-site painting box. Now, following France, so this is all I got from France, I, was, I went to Italy, Florence specifically, and I already knew where I was going to get from there. The first was this small set, which I haven't really opened, as you can see, of um, a Gallo watercolors. So I, I didn't get the 12 set, I got the tiny little, I think it's a six set, or a landscape set. So let's, let's open it and see what it looks like. I will be doing a bit of a review on these just because I'm quite excited to try them. I definitely can't get these here. I basically um, had to have them uh, delivered to the store in Florence and that's where I picked them up from. So I think just a, this is a little tiny size 6 brush. And let's have a look at the paints. Is really cute. I wanted to open these and use them while I was in Italy but I didn't really have the chance. It's really really adorable. Okay let's see. That's ridiculously cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about playing around with these. So these are the colors, gold ochre, sap green, translucent cerulean. Um, I think this is like a Venetian red, a burnt umber and dioxazine purple. Pretty excited about these. So I'll definitely let you know how I find them. Um, if I love them, I may invest in a larger palette. I think these are actually my first set of handmade watercolors. So beautiful. Okay. And then last but not least was the big boy. Now this I had intended to purchase actually for a while. I've been wanting to play around with egg tempera and um, making my own paint, but I hadn't invested in pigment and uh, I knew that I actually wanted to save that until I did travel to Europe because I specifically wanted to buy the pigment from this store. So this is in Florence and it's where many of the ateliers send their students to purchase their art supplies. And I saw this actually on their website but since I knew I was going to Italy I just weighted. Now it's quite heavy. I had to drag this all the way back from Italy with me. And it's a set of standard pigments, as you can see, and two um, bottles here. One is, I think this is gum arabic, it would make sense, and the other is with uh, linseed oil, which is here. So I'm pretty excited about playing around with these. My first uh, use for them will probably be egg tempera, which I will uh, paint with um, in a traditional style. Uh, so I'll just need me some fresh eggs and then that's really all I need. Now, these are all standard colors, so nothing too fancy, but one of my favorite colors is genuine Naples yellow. So I actually got uh, an extra 50, I think this is 50 grams of genuine uh, Naples yellow light. So this obviously contains lead and I wouldn't recommend anyone play with pigment if they're not really familiar with uh, how to handle toxic 
powders. Um, I studied environmental science and I did a lot of chemistry work, so I'm pretty confident with my abilities to play around with these. But um, yeah, definitely any sort of um, historic pigment, don't play around with it without knowing exactly what's in it. Actually, regardless, if it's a powder, you do need a well-ventilated area and you will need a dust mask. But if I ever make a video of me making paint, I don't think I will with this. I think this will remain um, for egg tempera. Uh, I will go through some of the sort of health and safety aspects of playing around with pigments. So these are my sort of art supplies. Again, it's nothing that I would be able to find easily here. Definitely not this brand, but um, I'm really excited to use them. I'm happy with my little mini haul. And um, if you do want to see me play around with anything specific, or if you need me to review anything specific uh, that you see here, just let me know and I'll put that on the to-do list. Anyway, uh, it was great to speak to you it's good to be back and i hope to have uh, some more frequent videos for you from now on especially as the year ends and i have a bit more free time um, i'll put together some more tutorials uh, but yep if you have any questions just leave me a comment and i will hopefully speak to you again soon bye bye